Said I've been a dreamer For so, so long But I let people tell me That I could not achieve Nothing comes to sleep us But a wasted dream And I'm tired of sleeping I want to see my dreams Cause I know I can't achieve Dear Lord and Teresa Edwards, born and raised in Carroll, Georgia, and I am a five-time Olympian with four gold medals. I am one of the most decorated team sports athletes in Olympic history. I began my Olympic journey at the age of 20 years old, winning my first gold medal at the 1984 Summer Games in Los Angeles. I also earned gold medals at the 1987 Pan American Games, 1988 Olympic Games, and 1995 World Championship. I was a dominant playmaker at the University of Georgia, leading the Lady Dolls to six SEC championships overall and two NCAA Final Fours, Go Dolls. After graduation, I finessed my game around the globe in Italy, France, Spain, and Japan. And every four years, I returned home to represent the U.S. in the Olympics in 1996. I won a gold medal number three at the Atlanta Games. Soon after, I played professionally for the Atlanta Glory in the upstate American Basketball League, averaging better than 20 points and 6 assists per game. In 2000, I won my final gold medal in an international competition as the first American to appear in the five Olympic Games. Sports Illustrated Magazine placed me as the 22nd of the 100 greatest female athletes of the 20th century in the year 2000. Teresa Edwards was one of the only people in the history that made an Olympic team from general tryouts. She was one of like 180 players in open tryouts in 1984. She played consistently with 110% effort from the first session through the last session. A 5'11 point guard, Edwards commanded respect during her years competing overseas and also as a leader once returning to play in the United States. Through her efforts and example, she inspired a new generation to grow the game. Women's basketball would not be women's basketball had it not been for Teresa Edwards and what she brought not only to Georgia, but to the U.S. national team. People didn't see behind the scenes the, the work that she put into it, how she mentored people like myself to make sure the game was gonna be in a better place when she retired. She had to pass that torch on. She showed the younger generation what it meant to work hard and how hard work pays off. That's why USA Basketball is so strong, because we had a leader like Teresa Edwards for such a long time. In fact, Ms. Edwards goes from being the youngest player on an Olympic team to the just how great she was to be that young to make an Olympic team and then to finish her career as the veteran player and still contribute and lead us. In our eyes, she's been a Hall of Famer since we met. Mildred Edwards. That was my mom, or is my mom. My mother moves mountains one at a time. She fed us, she kept the lights on, she clothed us with a pocket full of dimes. With my baby hands, I'd rub her feet and massage the tension from her neck. I saw how hard she worked to keep from collecting a welfare check. I had trophies, plaques, a street sign they called my own. 
But my only dream for her was a house she could call her own. They called me a competitor who loved to win. But it was this love for my mother that drove me within. Nothing greater than making her proud of me. And I'd do it over and over again, Mom. I love you. So for the, all my winnings, the weight of my worth was not my wealth. For all my success, the crowning moments weren't always glory. But after tonight, I'm forever changed because you've recognized my name with my game. Hey, Coach, University of Georgia, Cairo. Hey, we're in the Hall of Fame, baby. Thank you.